Hey there, signs of Capricorn. This is Kim here to do a reading for you guys. This reading is going to be a next 48 hour. I promise that'll stop shaking here in just a second. Um, yeah, next 48 hour reading. So let's get a um, Moonology card first. <clears throat> Moonology manifestation card. First quarter moon in Leo. Be humble, it says. First quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. It gives me a feeling like you're achieving something really big. And then I have think it through new moon in Gemini. Think it through. Like, give it a minute before you make um, a concrete or final decision on something. All right, so let's look at what maybe the pattern is that you're running into um, and the challenge to that. And we'll have the breakthrough card. Let's do that breakthrough spread. And this is vice versa tarot, so it has two sides to each card instead of doing um, reversals. Okay, so this is your breakthrough spread with the Six of Swords on the bottom. Six of Swords off on the bottom. Looks, looks like these people are going somewhere. Getting to calmer waters. Okay, a complete rebirth had to happen. And look, it's it's pretty much looking like a, the black moon here. Um, solar eclipse. <clears throat> wow. This is a the rebirth. Um, some kind of fight is completely over. And this person has taken off the armor because they're wanting to sit on the sidelines. They don't want to be in this fight. So the pattern here is um, something's completely done so that you stand up completely new, made made new pretty much. Um, I have the challenge as being the three of wands. Um, this is really a card of your own expansion and like where you see yourself going um, in the future. Like it's being able to visualize it so well that you can see it. Um, so that's the challenge is the visualization. The, the What comes after the planning mode. challenge the star energy having exactly um, what you want like your hopes your wishes so it might be to have something fulfilled for you um, a long time dream or having hope renewed even maybe it's hard to even have hope but what you can do is sit in front of the, uh, and look at the things that are about to be harvested from what you have. With that Seven of Pentacles up there, the breakthrough is your patience. Is your patience. You're sitting while maybe this is dead, but you still have, like, the tree might be not working right now. But, look, the fruit is still up for harvest, so you're kind of waiting on that. The Six of Cups has to do with... Um, Maybe family, soul family um, connections. It's part of the journey. Patience with this part of the journey. What is your power to be able to um, get by 
when you have to use little resources. Um, <clears throat> your power could be about um, handling kind of like handling it all. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, being able to really make it on not much, like being able to to pull through. So it's your power to know how to get through a tough time or tough times. All right. So you have Gemini energy. You could have Virgo energy. Um, Aquarius, Aries. We have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. <clears throat> So ultimately, there's this big opportunity, and, and this is a golden opportunity for you. And it's it leads right up there to like what we see as a balcony and some kind of nice veranda. Almost reminds me of like Italy or something like that. Outcome is, is this opportunity. There is um, the emperor in reverse, so there's a need to find your inner authority possibly talking about a power struggle of some sort that has to do with opportunities with your pentacles or your finances. Tell me more about your power. <clears throat> the seven of swords um, as like, sideways. So your power is the ability to have wise discernment it's hard to sneak something by you or it's hard to lie, cheat, or deceive you. So you're able to have wise discernment. Um, tell me about the action because the action recommended, I have this Knight of Pentacles. He looks like he's just a Knight of Pentacles that's stopping for the night. Like, so some kind of weight. Some kind of delay in something that was supposed to come. And, and I don't know if, if somebody had let you down to the point where it's got to be like a pattern coming back to somebody totally reinventing themselves. There's your focus, the two of wands. And this is about planning too. Being prepared, being focused, planning. You have a few paths open to you. And because of this, this card being here is saying when you come to the choice between these paths uh, that you stop and make a very um, educated guess first. There's a lot of magic within your focus and your intention. If you want to call it magic. Um... Maybe this Emperor in Reverse is more like a, a rebel, kind of rebellious energy. Tell me more about the Emperor in Reverse. But it says be humble. I have the Queen of Cups. Needing to find your inner authority, but um, doing the best for yourself. Maybe with diet and exercise and um, maybe with that. Or giving yourself, being open to receive will help you receive more. Um, receiving self-love is a way of giving yourself abundance. So you're bringing it into your life. And it does have that ripple effect. I love how these water cards, there's the ripple. Because it's showing that, you know, every single decision you make, especially those ones... Uh, for yourself to take good care of yourself. Those have a really big ripple effect um, on others and on other people. So it's um, a good influence too. Okay. Um, so let's let Capricorn know a little bit more about why this pattern keeps coming up with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Why does it keep coming up a total rebirth? It's something to do with major kind of commitment, marriage or commitment or uh, high level commitments. It's, 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 it feels like settling karmic situations and then uh, healing them and then walking past them. 
the pattern practice makes perfect a redo until perfect maybe that's it maybe it's something about perfectionism or something like that that four of wands two of wands you have them um, a victory too tell us more about the growth and expansion with the three of wands the challenge could be the journey the connections the journey itself I bet the challenge is going to be forgiveness. <laughs> yeah. Forgiveness. Um, this is enlightenment on a new path, too. So it's using an energy that maybe you hadn't considered or haven't used or stepped into that much. Um, it's a pathway for some magical things, it looks like. <clears throat> so what is the patience about with... Um, your breakthrough is patience. The three of wands in the reverse is because have patience. This is going to come when you least expect it. Something's going to come when you least expect it. So there is that energy of be prepared because something's going to come when you least expect it. Maybe there's even more of a surprise profit with the pentacles there. So I'm getting that. Tell us more about the opportunity. Temperance in the reverse. Okay. What else? Hmm. Okay, so there's change coming in for what's not balanced. Then there's going to be a chance for a person to make a decision similar to one that you have had in the past. But this time, there's a bigger emphasis on listening to yourself, um, your intuition. It will get you away and out and away from a difficult situation. Maybe just having a new thought, a new way of thought also about the journey itself. Making sure to keep your thoughts centered and balanced as that is directly affecting your reality. <clears throat> so what about this person? Like, what about this waiting with the pentacle? What about the waiting? I have king of cups now elder cup. look so we have both we have king of cups it's a challenge maybe the challenge is not getting upset or balancing your mood at this time leading with love and so maybe that's about holding back and taking the time um, to make a loving decision Strength in the Ten of Wands. Strength in the Ten of Wands. So there's Leo, and this Leo again, and this is like having confidence, having good self esteem, and this is also enough action to where there's nothing else you can do. It, it is the completion. It could be a move of some sort, making a big move. This could be a move, indicating a move of some sort. Whatever it is, it's it's to handle the balance because it can be a lot of going back and forth um, with your choices and decisions. Tell me more about the King of Cups. Normally really balanced. And this is totally in the water, totally immersed in um, an emotional thing. So you have three of pentacles and the reverse is um, maybe challenging to do something on your own or feeling like you're doing something on your own. Hmm. A pattern. 
possibly coming back to paying yourself or needing to pay yourself. Knight of Cups, another offer or a different offer. So what I've getting for you guys, Capricorns. Let's pull some Oracle cards. They might give more information on what this was about. The patience being the breakthrough. Forgiveness being the challenge <laughs> to get the journey of forgiveness and the star. The possibilities. Infinite possibilities. Hope renewed. Alright, wait. maybe over here on this pattern we're bringing new life to something and that is new life the rebirth <laughs> new life exactly what what that's about <clears throat> what else go the distance 47 this is about your manifestations picking up speed going the distance and taking a leap of faith, opening that heart um, to trust again, trust the journey. Come to the edge, it says. 36, 47, and 39. Okay, let's do some tea leaves now. So something about your manifestation is about to pick up. And there's something for you to take a leap of faith in. Nice. It looks like the mountain road, whatever this is. You're on the road to success. You're on the road to success. And then a wheel <laughs> representing the, the um, journey. So maybe you're taking a break because this has been a hard journey or a long journey. Carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. I also have hand in, help of, in need of help or assistance and guidance. This new life card is about your manifestations coming into life, breathing new life into something. Maybe from the past it, or something brand new. Um, and then you have that it's going to speed up. There just needs to be more faith in your unseen. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. And Lily, spiritual love. Coins, money will be coming to you. Sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. You have feathers, someone you know is undependable or insincere, that energy. And rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. Too much concern with sexual matters. And that's what I've got, Capricorn. If you want a private reading, I can be reached in the description box below. There is an email address to get a hold of me. And um, until next time then, love and light. Bye.